Be sure to check out FIFA Coins online to get FIFA Coins at a great deal from a place that you know that you can trust. Well, what's up guys, Curtis here, and welcome to Schmackton episode 16, possibly the best episode so far. Not too many goals from Schmack, but an incredible game comes up later on, the second game of this episode. Absolutely amazing, one of the funnest games to play, and one of the funnest ones, hopefully, for you guys to watch. So, as you can see, we go straight into this first game, and come up against a very, very nice looking squad with some very good players. Sergio Ramos, uh, Pato, Hulk, Thiago Silva, Casillas being some of the very, very good players. But... It didn't take us long to actually get a head start. Six minutes in, we crossed it in onto the head of who else than Shamak. And that puts him onto 76 goals in 46 games. And we started very, very nicely. But very shortly after that, on the 15th minute, he whipped it in onto the head of Eto, who smashed it into the back of the net and uh, managed to make it 1 all. But then again, on the 32nd minute, a great throw out by his goalie. And it seemed my defence were in no man's land. And he easily sprinted past them with Eto and began to trap the ball across to. Lucas and get himself an easy goal which was very frustrating I must say to uh, concede a tramp like that but uh, we do very well in uh, later on in the second half some nice passing some good pace by Walcott gets down the wing and whips it in onto the head of I believe it was Marchisio uh, no it was not Serino basically the same person anyway and uh, that made it 2-2 just in time for half time and uh, well it was a relatively even half it was 2 all both teams had scored two average goals his especially average with uh, tramp goals involved in it and as you can see on the screen we actually then skipped to full time when it was 16 shots of mine to 11 of his and 11 shots on target to five of his so basically it did look like I was actually dominating the game at this point sadly though I didn't make it count just a few minutes before half time of extra time he managed to get through with Wellerton run down and absolutely smash it into the back of the net making it 2-1 to him and he wasn't over there just before the final full time whistle some terrible touches by me basically just gave him an easy empty goal and uh, was able to smash it in with Lucas and make it 4-2 to him but we get that game out of the way at least we got a goal of Schmacks that means it's still uh, a nice goal in every game basically and uh, even though our record is miles better but now now we go into the next game and they have got full fitness because they are nice and rested up and we are hoping to get an absolute thrash in this game, get a load of goals with Schmack and enjoy uh, enjoy getting a load of goals. But that, that may not have been the case because it didn't start out too well as you will see. This is the game I'm talking about was the, uh, was the best game I've played on FIFA. It was brilliant. Here you can see this guy, 54 chemistry, looks like he's not going to be very good at all. Both his fullbacks don't have very good chemistry. A lot of his players don't have the right formation. He has a left wing at striker. Looks like he is uh, he's a bit crazy. But very shortly in, 14 minutes in, we actually managed to uh, sadly get Gambarini sent off with a silly, silly tackle where we go through the player and actually, uh, like I said, get him sent off. But we, we, uh, we're working on it. And then I can clearly be left out short of the back here as he goes three on one due to my lack of defence and that uh, actually makes it 1-0 to him and I was very frustrated, so frustrated that shortly after that I slid in, still in the first half, gave away a penalty and would you guess it? Yes, Bonner was sent off. We were now down to just nine men. As you can see there, Agbonna got sent off. We had neither centre-backs and I didn't feel like making a sub. I was so angry. I couldn't be bothered. I just wanted to get the game on with. So as you can see, he then scored his penalty here. I was livid. 2-0 down, two men down, going into half-time. Also, I had a Bradford team on the bench, so no good players to bring on. It was looking like it was going to be a complete and utter disaster. I think you're going to see the stats here in a second as well. It was really unfair for me to be losing 2-0 and in the situation that I was in. 10 shots to his three. All, uh, all three of his shots were on target and two of them went in. But 70 minutes into the game, we managed to get a nice attack. I believe I was on ultra attacking at this point with just two, uh, just a left and right back. No centre backs at all. Very, very desperate times. And Jovino managed to beat the goalie and slot it in. And then we got a corner. 89th minute. Heads it. Goal. Asamoa, thank you very much. We've now taken this to extra time. This game is getting interesting. I'm down to nine men still, but I've got the momentum. I've managed to pull it back to 2-2. Is this going to be one of the greatest comebacks I've ever had? And I was hoping so. So, Jovino ran down the wing, played it across to Schmack, who then cut inside, smashed it into the top corner. What a goal, Schmack, is all I can say. Take a bow, son. That was his goal for the game. Again, he just got the one. 
but that isn't going to stop the rest of the team from going mental. But uh, I decided maybe it's time to switch this up a bit. I couldn't bring any centre-backs on, so I moved Asamoah back to centre-back, and that did not help. It seemed to be weird having the lack of midfield, and he had a corner. All of my players were in the box, so I waited for them to go up, and somehow I walked the ball out with my goalie to give him a corner just on the stroke of half-time of extra time. And would you guess it? Took a dodgy deflection and went into the back of the net. He was now 4... 3-3, three, three, I believe. It was either 3-3 three, three or 4-3 four, three up. Uh, yeah, it was 3-3. Three, three. And then just before half-time again, I went on the attack, whipped it into the box, and made it 4-3. It was looking good. Something just was working for once. And I was all over him in terms of shots and everything. It was just looking really, really promising for me. And then it went wrong again. I smashed the ball out there with my goalie. He headed it down. It went straight to his player and he seemed just to do some brilliant passing movement, get himself through on goal with a nice little bit of play. And then he, uh, he knocked his Jacko, cut back in and easily finessed it into the back of the net. It was now 4 all, 112th minute. This was looking like an epic extra time adventure. 113th minute, he gets the ball. Knocks it to his player, threw on goal. I only have three defenders, remember, and only two midfielders. Gets it into the back of the net. I'm 5-4 down, 115th minute, gutted, absolute gutted. Then, Shamak runs down the wing, immense run, perfect, amazing cross into the player. Sadly, doesn't get onto his head. It drops to Nocherino, smashes it, oh, Marchisio even, smashed it into the back of the net. And then something... Completely and utterly unexplainable happens. We pass the ball to Kakeras, and I'm going to leave you now for a few the seconds. Last one, the last one standing. The last one standing. Yes. Wow. Wow, overhead kick winner in the 120th minute to win the game 6-5 after having two men sent off. 22 shots to his 13. Can you have a more epic game than that? Absolutely incredible. Surely that deserves a like. Make sure you hit it and not miss it like you're at a coconut shy. If we could get to 500 likes, that'd be amazing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!